This device here is what takes the high voltage and so the battery pack voltage and spits it back out as 12 volts. So that runs or keeps the 12 volt battery charged, which runs all these control systems, runs the runs all the lights, runs everything. Now, it does a really good job. It's the alternator, essentially, and charges your battery really well. So we want this running when the car's running, of course, but we also want it running when the car's charging because you don't want to have your car plugged in and then come back to a flat 12 volt battery, which means the brains couldn't work, which means your EV wouldn't work, even if you had a, a full EV battery. That would be ridiculous. So this runs when the car's charging. However, it's air-cooled, and so if it's very hot and the car is charging in the sun, the temperatures start to rise. Now, they don't get to anything that's critical. There's temperature probes and monitors in this that, that look after that. Now, it doesn't get anywhere critical, but it does make more heat than we'd like, and having this constantly run when the battery's already full is just not great for the battery. So what we can be doing is looking through the PDM and through the software to check the voltage of the 12 volt system and only run this when it's needed. So we can cycle it on and off to charge the battery in a friendlier way and create a nice charge profile for that 12 volt battery. Basically through a, you know, this does basically have an on off switch and it also works via CAN bus. So it's, it's simple, we're turning on and off a device, but we can do that based on parameters like the voltage that we detect in the battery. This, can, this understands time. So we can say, hey, and then turn this on for 20 minutes, then check the voltage again. We can do things that sound quite simple, but are basically impossible if you weren't using a computer system to run this stuff.